So how how can you? Because in the Philippines, is um coming is a, uh, the election is coming, and some believers, the 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 vote. So I want you to uh, want to ask your. What can you say? When some receive money from the candidates in the hidden way, mm -hmm. and the plan of this um, so-called believers, I don't say I don't mention any person, but for them that is not that you they are no you cannot decide what to whom I will I will vote, but I will have, want to receive your money, and um, you don't vote. So what can you say about this as a believer? Yes. So first of all, I will say simply that... And just uh, keep the money yeah. in your pocket. Yes. Simply I will say that those who will take money, whatever they keep it or not, then they lack a knowledge of the scripture. Because if they knew, they will never take the money. Because it is written. Okay? Do not take any bribe. Yeah. Okay? Because the bribe corrupts the heart. So first of all, we first of all corrupt we, the heart. Yeah, okay. corrupt the heart. So we see first of all that uh, the problem is in the education of these young people. We should know that uh, this world is a world of which is uh, ruled by Satan. Okay, I know that many we do not like. We don't like to hear that, but this is the truth. The God, the God of this world, is a Satan. Mm -hmm. So we have to discern, okay, the intention of these people. Yeah. Somebody who proposed money to, to somebody else to get his voice is making a bribe. He's giving a bribe. And this is forbidden by the Torah. So I would encourage like the people first to teach the young people, the young believer, not to do that. Mm -hmm. It's like people who think in Christianity, I pay the tithe, so God will return a tenfold, a one hundredfold. That's his foolishness. We cannot bribe Elohim. We cannot bribe God. Mm -hmm. You see? So, we have to know the scripture in order to know what we have to do and which decision we have to take. So I think this this point is clear to me, and now it's clear to those who will listen. That <coughs> accepting a bribe is a sin, mm -hmm. because sin is a transgression of the Torah. So if I accept a bribe, I'm sinning. Uh -huh. So repent and stop to do that. You accept, but <coughs> um, you accept this br uh, bribe. But they don't. But you, you didn't. Uh, you you didn't um, do what he said that to yes. to vote for him like that. Yes. So you you double sin. <laughs> double sin. Yes, of course. <gasps> because first of all, you accept the bribe, and second, secondly, you lie to the man because he will not do what he do what he tell you to do. You see, Yeshua tell you what did he say. Let your yes be yes, your no be no. So if I say yes to somebody and I will, I will not do what I say to him, I'm a liar. Or even a cheater. You cheat. Yes. So, double sin. So repent for that and look that you don't do it anymore. Because if we repent, it's good to forgive us and to cleanse us from every unrighteousness. Okay. Okay.